So today I'm going to explain about how to make DIY, do-it-yourself steering wheel uh, by using your phone, Android phone and wireless controller that you can attach uh, your mobile phone to it so you can basically it's like a air steering wheel where you can uh, tilting to the left to the right in order to command or in order to control your movement of, movement of the car in the game so um, first thing first you need to download all the drivers uh, in the link in the description it consists of three files three folders here where the APK file goes to your mobile phone you can install to your uh, mobile device and the server setup you can just double click on it to install to your PC uh, both with uh, Fijoy driver once you have installed all of the uh, all of the three applications both in your PC and in your Android phone you can start it up you can start the apps first you need to Open the Fijoy driver first. So configure Fijoy, and in here you can customize what kind of access you want to work with your phone. For example, X is like going tilting to the, like this, and Y is this. Is it like it is like this? So basically, you can just turn all of the device on and click apply. You can just click, you can enable all of the access here. And then, to connect your phone with, uh, to connect your phone with your PC, you need to enable the hotspot. So mobile hotspot, you can turn it on in order to make an ad hoc connection so you will connect your mobile device your phone with the PC through an ad hoc it's faster rather than to go to connect it to the Wi-Fi router it is faster if you connect your mobile phone through your ad hoc connection once you once you activate the mobile hotspot you can turn on you can connect your phone here so here i am connected to my pc to an ad hoc and in the pc there is a uh, information about device connected and then after that you can start the GD SIM wheel both with the GD, GD, GD SIM wheel server. So in here, so in here you need to adjust the IP address of your ad hoc, your ad hoc connection. Well, if you need to connect to your Wi-Fi router, it's also fine. But it's faster. You go to uh, you connect to the ad hoc connection. It is important to take note on the IP address on the server because you will need to enter the IP address in the application. You need to click on the settings, and in here you need to connect. The IP ad you need to enter the IP address uh, shown in your PC to the mobile phone you have. You can also adjust the 
calibration like X and Y, dead zone. I recommend you to have a zero dead zone. And also sharpness, you make it maximum in order to be um, in order to be very precise with your movement. And then click play. Once you click play, there will be uh, it will be client connected. So it's basically connected your phone with your with the GD Sim world. Now you need to start the application. So in here I'm playing a set of Corsa. So you need to go to the main menu and then go to setting. And in here you will see two inputs the Bluetooth because I'm using the Xbox wireless Xbox one wireless controller using Bluetooth and it will have also the video device to detect your movement of the phone here so you can basically tilt, tilting your phone in order to steering to detect it so every game has its own settings so you need to adjust the manually in every game you have for example in as a course to adjust the steering or to change the steering you can click and then tilting your phone like this and this is the same thing with the uh, photo throttle and also the brakes so you need to input all of the for example shifter I'm using the button from my Xbox controller When you want to play in other games, you have to adjust settings as well in those games. So for example, I will choose another games in the setting in the input. You can see if I tilting my hands right here, it will make steering like going to the left to the right. So you need to use device management. Configure video device. Yeah, you can adjust sensitivity, linearity, the zone, and saturation. And you can also adjust the input bindings, like because I only adjust still left and still right, right to the video driver to my Android device so you need to just, just bind the still left and right left four long keep in don't cut 100 right four long and right six 200 right four long keep in 200 200 over bumps 80 left six long so in the option you can adjust the controller the configuration the assignment the just joy joy access y plus and y minus and you assign 
the throttle to your Xbox controller. So basically that's all for today if you have any questions just shoot me a message or put the comments in the comments below so have fun